Hello guys, welcome to our video for today. I've gotten a lot of reviews from the last video and I would say I'm super super excited honestly uh, I won't tell you guys like I am super super excited the reviews the comments everything it's it's amazing for me it's a whole new journey and I'm loving the process of it all alright so and I'm, I'm one thing I'm promising I'm, I'm going to speed up my content or the spirit of to create content in the channel so that we can have a lot of videos okay so um thank you for your contribution Thank you for your comments, thank you for sharing my videos, thank you, please, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, oh, you have to subscribe, and now I'll be saying it, subscribe, because lots and lots of things are coming your way in a short time. Okay, so today, we'll be doing, I will be taking you through a very simple, it's not simple, you know, the best things of life actually look very easy, you get, like, if you choose something up, it's to come down, if you open the door, you assess the person behind the door. Yeah, if you help a, if you help a blind man hold the stick, you walk him through. So the things of life that that are very important, they look very easy, not complex. Okay, so this thing may sound very easy to you. Um, I'll make it very relatable, but please don't you realize it. Um, I want like I I I'll always say, once you uh, once you get this things, take action immediately. All right. So today I'll be um, teaching us on how to get more money from your online buyers five exact things to do how to get more money from people that are buying from you online if you want sell online if you sell on whatsapp sell on facebook ad sell facebook advert if you sell with funnels this is going to help you because to help you get more money from people that actually buy your stores okay so like my customers sometimes i look down don't think i'm distracted i'm actually looking at the points i jotted down all right um we'll get to a phase in this channel where i would, I would show you stores with slides but not now, not now, I'm not going into the practical, practical as well as you stuff with slides, I share my screen with you. So let's just go down with it. So the first thing to do, okay, okay, let me build a, a basic mindset. Like I, I always say, selling online is not impossible. I make a living selling online, basically. If I have other businesses, if I have other ventures I've funded, it's the money I made solely from selling online. Do you understand? Do you understand? So the first thing to do is to get like, a unique selling point. I'm going to explain this. Is to get a unique selling point. It's called USP. You should be you should be um, used to this word if you sell online. But we'll extend it in detail so you understand what it means. Now USP simply means a unique selling point, and a unique selling point means something you can do to a product that can make proceeds from another light. We call it angles in marketing. We call it marketing angles. All right. So I'm going to explain this for you. Now there was a time we sold. A pen camera it's a pen camera it's like a pen like you know the pen you write with all right so a pen camera you put on like you put it on your shirt somebody would think you're, you're having a pen but that's not a pen that's actually a camera so what we did the unique selling point we got was this we actually got the I won't mention his name but there was okay it was a period whereby there was a lot of harassment in the country okay money was disappearing politicians were risking the money a lot of things like that all right so what actually happened was we angled it in this way that if you have okay it was a point also where police was harassing people if you have a pen camera you would actually be able to capture the harassment that you're going through actually be able to capture the harassment so you have a pen camera on, of course, a policeman that's harassing you won't let you video him because you have a video evidence against him. That's, that's actually crazy. You can, you, can, you can send him to jail for that. All right, so we said if you have a pen camera, you can be able to capture that. You can be able to capture the events. You can be able to capture a policeman trying to harass you and stuff. So that's, it's, it's, it sold a lot. It sold a lot. Now, what that one wanted to do was, okay, we did was a dash camera. The dash camera was something that we did and the angle we came from is that for instance you know when you hit somebody 
you're driving a car. Now, don't say I'm using only cameras. I will come to others. When you hit somebody, you're driving a car and you hit somebody. When people come to actually harass you, they won't actually ask you, was the person walking slow? Was the person walking fast? Did the person jump in front of the car? Did the person... No. Was this a zebra cross? Nobody will ask you that question. They will only know that you killed somebody or you hit somebody and you'll be arrested. But if you have a dash camera on in your car, it can help you capture the whole situation and how it happened, your speed limit, how you were driving your car, how the accident happened. Same thing with someone coming to, someone hitting your car. A dash camera explains that. So you're seeing, you're not just selling, you're not selling somebody, buy this dash camera. It's, it's, this is why it's, 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 um, it's rechargeable. It's, it captures um, front, uh, what's happening in the front of your car and blah, 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 blah. You don't do that. You're not doing that. You're not, as you know, straight, selling straightforward. No, you are carving out an angle to the marketing. Do you understand what I'm talking about? You're carving out an angle to the marketing. Okay, so there was also a time we sold a female hygiene product. Sometimes like two years ago, we did a female hygiene product. And the unique selling point we came from was rejection of how a girl can be rejected by her boyfriend at, at, at the point of sex. Because, because no, not necessarily her boyfriend, but any man. Maybe because she's not um, hygienic or something. So that rejection, we actually carved the story around it and sold like that. Wouldn't we just tell somebody, buy this thing, no? It, it, uh, buy this uh, phone, it lasts for 45 minutes. This, uh, no, you don't do that in marketing. If you want to sell, you have to get a unique selling point. You understand? You have to get a unique selling point. So that is one thing you should do. That's one way to get more money from online buyers. Okay, so let me actually, let me carve out, let me give an example with something very common, a wristwatch. A unique selling point of a wristwatch can be, let me think of something. You can actually angle wristwatch selling to composure. To dignity, to um, what was this word called? Like, to sense of pride. You can't just say buy this wristwatch. It's water resistant. It's just a, it's really, it's really a temperature, high blood pressure. No, no, no listen to it that way. You get people are selling stuff. People like, in the street are selling stuff that way too. Like people are selling stuff that way. But you have to you want to angle it. You want to tell them what this wristwatch does. Do you understand? Do you get it? So. That is a unique selling point for a wristwatch. You understand? So you can any product you're selling, sit to that and think, what will now? Uh, how do we get a unique selling point? That's what we should ask. How do we get a unique selling point? Is to look at the benefit of a product and look how deep it can affect people using that product. Okay, I can go on and on, but I don't want to waste my time here. The second thing you should do to get more money from online buyers is to so, story sell. To sell with stories. Stories sell all the time. Stories sell like wildfire. Have you noticed that if I come and tell you that, um, for okay, let's say I want to explain how I bought the drink. I told you by two, uh, and I just want to, I told you that I had money, I bought the drink. Like, I want to explain how I bought a, a can of carbonate drink, and I'll tell you I have money, I bought the drink. And if I come and tell you in the morning by 6 30 a.m., I left my house drove off my gate i went straight now i'm telling you a story what should you pay attention to more you pay attention to the story more that's why when we when if if you if, if if you came from um a child african background like if you came from africa where you practice some traditions when you were growing up some morals were passed to you with stories i'll tell you the story of the tortoise and this one the like that is sheep um, um patience the story of the lion and the land and the animal kingdom fictional stories like that like that teaching you pride and you understand and, and, and courage you know so morals are actually passed to stories that is how sales can be made with stories people buy stories i will give you an example of stories you can sell with people buy stories you understand now the time we sold and um our cream products, is it? Oh, okay, it, the, the, this stuff that's happened to okay, black sports products. When that fixed mask came out some three years ago, that it was raining a lot that time. The story we used in selling it was the sense of confidence, pride that comes with beauty. 
the beauty of a woman. So we started selling the story like this of how a girl went selling product like this story of how a girl went to secondary school. From secondary school, she graduated, went to the university, and got an opening. So all of a sudden, she's still noticing black spot on her face. You saw how the story is becoming interesting. Now, anybody that is having black spots can actually relate with that story. Same thing with the female hygiene product. We started with a story of how a girl went to a nightclub and stuff. So when she's about to have sex, it is a ton of, you see, so people say, people, people actually buy stories. You understand? Camera security products you can sell with stories. Fashion products you can sell with the story of how a man lost an interview because he wasn't wearing a wristwatch, a quality wristwatch, lost a job, a job interview. So stories always sell. Okay, stories will always sell. Listen, anything you're selling, one of the powerful ways to sell it is to tie it to stories. If you don't tie your s product and services to stories, you would not actually make a lot of sales. See, stories, anything can be sold to stories. With ones, wigs, quality hairs, of how a hair affects a girl's perception, of how the quality of hair gets kind affects her perception. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, for example, let's take a kitchen convenience. One of the products I gave examples with in my last product, right? So I said that the product I got a, a, a kitchen convenience product. I don't know if I if I, I said it. Now the kitchen convenience product can help you do like cut veggies in about 15, 15 like it has fifteen dices. All right. So the story around it can be of how a woman had a lot of cookings to do, and when she was doing this cooking, she cut her hand with um um what's it called with um knife and she was bleeding she was bleeding heavily now what is this story as she was bleeding heavily just listen to me i'm i actually have some points more so i don't run faster than um, than myself as she was bleeding heavily she was rushed to the hospital now the bleeding graduated to a sore and it's graduated to something that it's not it wasn't nice the tannus entered you infuse all those things and you narrow it down by saying, if she had this nicer dicer, she wouldn't have had a kitchen accident or domestic accident. Can you see that? Now, one of the stories I used to sell my, um, okay, let me give you types of stories. Types of stories, you have two types of marketing stories you can sell with. These stories can sell anything to any audience anywhere in the world. Nigerian audience, American audience, African audience, any continental audience in the world. As long as you can speak their language, these type of stories can sell to them. Because every human being under the sun relates with stories. If, you, if you're a Christian and you read the Holy, Holy Book, the Bible, the Bible starts with a story in the beginning. God. You see, that's a story. You understand? If you read some classic literatures, like some books, some classical information, they start with stories. If you read a lot, if you, if you watch, movies are storylines. So stories sell anything. Anything at all. A story can always sell it. Drop a story. A very enticing story on any product that has been abandoned for a long time. Story we sell, a story we sell it. Let me just give an example of a story you can. Sorry, types of stories that you can sell. With. There are two types of stories. The first one is what we call a first-person story. I will explain it. The second one is a third-person story. A first-person story is a story from a personal experience, something that happened to you, right? Okay, so the, when I when I released my first online course, the story I used to sell it was my personal story. Of how I moved from a phone repairer to a seven-figure online marketer, like a seven-figure online entrepreneur. You understand? Or how I moved from a broke phone repairer to a seven-figure online entrepreneur. Now, I have many angles to that story. If I tell you that story now, in the rest of this video, you you look you ask for that course. <laughs> I'm serious, you ask for it because a personal story all right so if you've used the product that worked for you you can you can sell with the story a personal so don't be shy you have to sell stuffs if you think you can sell with a personal story now if you can't excuse me if you can't sell with a personal story you can sell what you call a third person story a third person story is it did not happen to you it's happened to someone it can be an actual story or fiction it happened to someone okay so 
I can, let's say I want to sell an Ulsa product. I can come by saying, okay, the head of the title of my story. Now, I will have a whole video for story selling. That's when we we'll get to copywriting. There are lots of values I will give you in this YouTube channel that if you, if you have to pay me $7,000 for it, it won't be enough. All right. So I can start a story by saying, I suffered from unbearable chest bone, stomach pain, and severe ulcer for 14 years. I thought I was going to die until I encountered if a solution that was given to me by Superson. Now, that is the story. Now, in okay, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't actually want to go into copywriting. But in story selling, you can't just say how oh, I overcame 40 years old ulcer. Nobody's going to listen to you. In story selling, there are some things you must infuse inside. You understand? There's some things you must infuse inside. So a heading goes like this. I suffered from chronic chest chest bone, stomach pain, and ulcer pains for 14 years. I thought I was going to die until I discovered a solution as recommended by someone. Or I until I discovered a solution through a link in the Facebook post. Now which one will you read? Now in that heading alone, inside that or in that heading alone, there are the person has infused pains, the person has infused um, experiences. Like you want to find out what happened, or you can also discover a solution. You are you've spiked curiosity. Everybody wants to know what that solution is. Do you understand? So story selling always works. Then you can get a third person. So it, can, it can be fiction also. As long as what you're selling works. If you're a human being, if you can imagine, you can come up with stories. How, okay, how do we lie? <laughs> Let's get practical. Follow me. How, how do you lie? Or how do we lie as human beings? See, don't tell me nothing. People lie. A lot of people lie. Lie, lie us everywhere. <laughs> how do we lie? They catch you right at the with something. You stole this thing. You stole it. Everybody saw you. You stole it. And they're asking you, is you say you stole me that stole it? Okay, explain that. <clears throat> Sorry. Explain that you're not the one that stole it. Story begins. You start telling stories. So if you can lie <laughs> comfortably, you can actually sell with stories. So story selling always works. Story no, I'm not please, don't get me wrong, because I know a lot of people who watch this video over the years. I'm asking you to lie, tell lies in your stories. I'm just trying to pass a message, and I hope you actually get my point. As long as what you're selling works, so a lot of things like I explained in the, in the other video, a lot of niches you can explore. Don't just sell. Come on, don't just sell. True stories around it. Don't, don't be a conventional marketer. Like just go ah ah. How do you know? Come on back. Come on back. Come on. No no. Don't don't be like that. Don't be like that. I'm actually training you or teaching you to be a different kind of online marketer that makes buying experience enjoyable, that makes the buying process enjoyable. You, you, you take people through the process of buying. <clears throat> there was a product we sold one time. I think the story was six pages. And see, let, let, me drop and let me drop something here before I, th I think I'm getting more things to say. Don't say my story is too long or my story is too short. If see any people, these people will buy, once it's an enticing and captivating story. We saw the product that the story is six pages, I mean six web pages, and you, 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 click, you keep clicking next, next, six times. And we sold tons of it for, for, for months. People were clicking because the story was enticing. If you can watch a movie that is 13 seasons, six seasons, seven seasons, why can't you, why can't, okay. What do they do to you in seasonal movies? They cut this. They cut the episodes in suspense. Maybe when somebody wants to dagger somebody with knife, as he's raising his hand, they cut it. <laughs> episode one, as you know, then you are going to the next episode. Now you are you are you are full of suspense. Movies are storylines. Maybe the next one when he wants to fall into, um, um, sorry, fall off a cliff, as he's about to jump or as, as he's about to push him, they cut it. So yeah, go to the next episode. So you get a story of yourself, long and short stories, as long as they are enticing, you will always sell your stuff with stories. Alright, so the next thing to do, the third thing to do is to bundle offers. Listen attentively. People don't know how. You see, I look at 
so acclaimed online marketers and i see how 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 um okay what what will i use now okay how malnutrition your online growth is like you are not okay i don't want to sound very ras or insultive but i ask questions like who trained you who taught you online marketing like who who practically taught or where did you learn from you don't know how to throw offers at people not to throw offers at people. I will explain what it means to bundle offers. If you're saying no, now you must bundle offers. And I'll give you an example. It is easier to sell a necklace, a bracelet, and a wristwatch than it is to sell only a wristwatch. Make people feel that they are cheating you for giving you their, their money. Do you know I can sell, tell you a wristwatch is, I can put two offers there and say, this wristwatch is 25,000. By the way, I bought it for 25,000. And I said this wrist watch, this necklace, this wrist, this um, 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 handband or bracelet, everything here starts five thousand. Do you know who we'll go for? Do you know that five thousand? You saw you five thousand. Why? You bundle offers, and in bundling offers, there are two things you must understand. There, there's a do and there's a don't. Now, the first do is this: don't, don't put non-complementing products. For example, if you're selling a broom, put a packer. If you're selling a mop, put a bucket. Then you do that is, of course, put a complementing product. If you're selling a phone, put a put a, put a, a headset. So you must now to bundle offer. Bundle offer simply means attaching things to your to your product that make it that makes your product sellable. Do you get me? If you're selling now understand me i'm actually going to somewhere if you're selling something complement it if you're selling bread sell butter now somebody will ask if this so you mean i should just say bread plus butter ten thousand naira. sorry 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 bread plus butter, one thousand naira. you don't do that you have to bundle it so what you do is buy this wristwatch get necklace and bracelet free but inside the cost of the wristwatch there is you factored in the cost of the necklace and bracelet buy this Wi-Fi camera get memory card free buy this phone get airport free but instead the cost of the phone you factored in the price of the airport buy this book get pen free so look at your product examine your product you have on ground now buy this buy buy this week get hair dryer for free come on hair dryer there hair dryer for two five one five and you can take the price of that week to almost times two. Or buy this week, get this hair stretcher for free. You understand? Buy this magnetic nails, get this magnetic lashes for free. So that's how it works here. You bundle offers. This, I'm, I'm telling you ways to get people to give their money very fast. Let them feel that I'm cheating you. Have ah, you not bought it? If you are cheating the seller, the vendor. I see this guy is giving this thing for eighteen thousand naira. Uh, where I can buy, but he has collected his money from that free. So always throw up push, give push up offers, push up offers, bundle your offers. Don't just sell one thing. You understand? Don't just sell one thing. You understand? If you're selling an eye product, give give um give, give you can you can you can uh, now you can you you you, 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 you must only bundle product to product. You can bundle product to services. If you're selling an eye product, you can give a free consultancy section with an optician. Let me an optician, let me examine them for free. But you've collected your money inside that eye product. Alright. So the next one is um it's called F O M O FOMO. FOMO. Fear of missing out. Some people know FOMO, but they don't understand FOMO. I'm gonna understand what FOMO means. Alright. So if you want to sell product online, make people feel that they are missing out on offers. Come on, if you want to sell a product, don't just I said the first one I said was. Let me look at my book. USP, story selling, bundled offers. Now you've done that. Now, these are your steps actually. Then FOMO, fear of missing out. If you want to sell a product and tell them that this product is 5,000 naira, but if you can pay from now to 12 midnight, you will get it for 3,500. Everybody wants to buy because they, they feel I'm going to miss out on this. Alright? So, 
make people feel that they are missing out on your offers don't just sell stuff let people feel that they are missing out if i don't buy i'm going to miss out on this all right so you you can you can run the promo do you understand this hair this this um this restructure was formerly 35,000 but you're getting 25,000 from now to 12, 12 o'clock tomorrow let them feel that they are missing out you understand keep them in suspense and the last one for today is um last one for today is trigger emotions I'm going to not dwell here so much, but I would say a few things. You have to really trigger emotions if you're selling. There are lots of selling selling emotions. There's the emotion of fear. There's the emotion of rejection, like I said before. There's the happy emotion. There's the emotion of um, happiness. There's the emotion of joy. There's the emotion of pain. So if you're selling, trigger emotion. There's the emotion of confidence and pride. Bravado. There are lots of emotions. So if you want to sell, you must know how to trigger emotions. Let emotions be in place. Let it do the work for you. You understand? So, how do you trigger emotions? Let me pick an example of a product. Um, I can use trigger emotions of... Um, okay, let's say you're selling an attractive product for leg, for the leg. Okay, you can infuse the emotion of fear in that in, when, when you're selling. And tell them that can you stand your legs when amputated? Because attractives can make your leg go numb and virtually useless. So the fear of can you stand your leg when amputated is an emotion. They want to buy. Come on, they want to buy. And nobody wants can, can stand their legs when amputated. All right. So I'm giving you these five key points, and I'd like to ask you ask your questions in the comment section. Thank you for joining me to this section. Please subscribe for this, to this channel what is that one thing you learned i'd like you to drop it in the comment section for me tell me stuff you learned i want to hear from you i want to actually see how you've put this into practice i want to see if you have a lot of results please in the next video i'm going to be teaching you lots of things and as i'm getting these ideas i'm writing them down i'm building up content content around it please subscribe share this video Share this with a lot of people, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think. Hope this was helpful. Thank you. We'll see you in the next section. People lie. A lot of people lie. Lie. Lie us everywhere. How do we lie? Hello. 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 Hello.